What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. Here. Wear this. It belonged to my daughter. Good. Today, I speak your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? <laughs> Normally, it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend, and matriarchs perform the ritual. But we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, we're left the splendors of creation, beasts of air, Water, earth, and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this, one day. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go! Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Aloy! And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough! And you, blessing its name like it was one I of the I know my duty to them. Pride. And to you. 
without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow. That's a lot of berries. You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little ghost? Now go and see if you can find some more, hmm? Well done, that's a good boy. <laughs> Children. Come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. Oh, come on. But I can get through. This must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. Ross said never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. Shiny there. Lights. 
everywhere. How did you do this? A metal door, closed. Maybe this device I found can help. Connected to the door somehow. It changed color. The door changed color too. Why did they die here? What happened to them? And Machu Picchu. Always wanted to see that. I never did. Why didn't I go with Owen when he asked? Stupid. my hand. You don't belong down there. Come. 
Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. muttering to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now. You're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch, and I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called South Brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Good. Now eat the berries. <laughs> they may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all mothers' embrace. Embrace? The Nora tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines. Usually. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Hmm. Aloy, a machine's coming. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. There. Now stay low. I don't want... No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. walking is quieter than upright. Wait for it.
That's the last of them. Let's move on. You did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. Then he is a fool. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. There. See them? These are called striders. Ha! Get! Why'd you chase them off? Huh. To show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Now. I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Those will do. Follow. Machines, right? No, but they can distract them, draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy, unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. Come, girl, it's safe now. Harvest the kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Good. I see you've already gathered stalks of Ridgewood. Use the stalks as arrow shafts and metal shards for arrowheads. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. Here. Stay low on the grass and be quiet. It's time to make your first kill, Aloy. 
Strider. One of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. You must study your prey. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you guess another? Yes. How did you guess that? The device. It showed me. That plaything? Stop playing games. Now, take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out of the way. Hit! Keep firing! You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy, quick! Do this slowly and quietly. Can't let them see me. There he is.
silly thing. Wait. Oh, Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. She, Boy! She saved me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Seal your lips. They are outcasts, both. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Bleeding. Let me have a look. Here, hold still. I'll get it. Why? Shh. Why am I an outcast? Aloy, this is not the time. Who was my mother? Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? It's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It would be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves, but to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proven. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it'll take years. Start training? Yes. Follow.
Rost? 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. I'll find a use for you. He said we'd go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Where's he gone to? Just standing there. What's going on with him? Aloy, you're here. Did you want to be alone? No. We must speak. I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You've learned to hunt, learned to survive. But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Descend into the embrace and hunt until you have gathered the parts for fire arrows. Fire arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. Uh, the North Gate? At the edge of the Embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. Is something else bothering you? No. I'm fine. Are you worrying about what happens after the Proving? What happens is clear. You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast. To be shunned. Rost, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't- There is much to do, Aloy. I will discuss this later. <sighs> okay. Anything else you want me to do while I'm down in the embrace? Oh... Uh, Odd Grotto might be out of food by now. You could hunt a week's worth of meat for her, if you find the time. Wouldn't mind if she'd say thanks just once. Grata follows the law. Her science towards us is honorable, not an insult. If you say so. I'll go gather the parts, but I'm also going to pay Karst a visit. Aloy, that man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. And I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right, see you at the North Gate. Something's really bothering him. The captain's gonna abandon him. He's wrong.
The embrace. My whole life, I've never gone beyond this valley. That'll change after the proving. Two days. Two days until I get answers. Two days, and I'll know who she was. And why I was cast out at birth. As if there could be an excuse for that. All right. Time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find a herd. But I'm used to it. When my name was called to the mountain, you did not speak it back. You kept it close. Hello, Grata. Oh, mother. Since I was cast out, have I not been constant as the river flows? Have I not kept the vows as the stones do? Show me your grace, oh, mother. And provide for me once more. Good news, Grata. Once again, All Mother has brought you rabbits. All oh, Mother, your voice cracks like the distant thunder. I hear the songs of grief, All oh, Mother. I would join the call, but I left my prayer beads atop the eastern overlook. I am afraid. Wait at your camp for me, Grata. I'll. See what I can do. Way down. I need to speak to you. Would you not help me? for now. The brave trail up the rocks is close by. Strong arms to reach the overlook the fast way.
This looks promising. Aha! Grata's prayer beads. I see why she comes up here to pray. It's up to you know, I wonder what bothers me more. That she ignores me, or that with all her talking to all mother, she's never lonely. Talk to an outcast? I'm desperate for help. Whatever the consequences. What's the problem then? Trouble with your leg? Forget about me. It's my daughter, Arana. She's in danger. She went after a scrapper near Mother's Cradle, and I fear for her life. I can't even stand up, let alone go after her. Will you help me find her? Why would your daughter hunt a scrapper on her own? It's my fault. I went after it first, and it tore up my leg. I barely got away, and I left a spear impaled in the machine. That spear was made by Adina, my mate, who died last year. It means everything to Arana. She, she went after the scrapper to get it back. You said Arana went to Mother's Cradle? Yes, southeast of here. I forbid her from going, but ever since her mother died, she's become impossible. Damn it, look at me. A widower, now a cripple. Father that can't find his daughter. Please, help me set things right. I'll do what I can to help your daughter. Make sure she's all right. I'm begging you. She's in trouble. Thank you. I thought those watchers were gonna tear me apart. Your father sent me after you. It's time to go home. I figured. But I can't go back until I get my mother's spear from that scrapper. How did you wind up in that tree? I tracked the scrapper to mother's cradle. Caught a glimpse of it, too. But then a watcher saw me and called his pack. My old mother. I'm just not a good enough hunter to get that spear back, am I? That spear must mean a lot to you. My mother made it not long before she died. I can't believe my father lost it. He didn't mean to. Scrappers are dangerous. I know. I just can't stand the idea that it might be gone forever. Your father is worried sick about you. He gets worried if I go ten steps to relieve myself in the bushes. He just... He doesn't want to lose you, Awana. I know. But I do wish he wouldn't yell at me so much. I'll look for your spear. You will? Oh, thank you. Go find your father. His leg gave out while he was searching for you, just south of Mother's heart. Oh, no. Okay, I'll go to him right away. Thanks again.
Piranha's trail ends here. Must be where she saw the scrapper. If I follow its tracks, I should be able to find that spear. Mother's cradle. Trail ends here. I'll bet it crossed the river. Better check the other side. Time to see Karst and get a trip caster. There. Time to get that spear. <laughs> A well-made weapon. Arana will be happy to have it back. No one else around. Looks safe to meet. My guess is he'll be waiting for There he is. Looks nervous. Well, well, well. An outcast on my doorstep. All mother protect me. Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another. Last time I visited, you had a trip caster available for trade. Still got it? I do. But you'd need to bring me a scrapper lens. What can I say? Special weapons don't come cheap. Oh, I can pay. Took down a scrapper not long ago. Stripped out the lens in perfect condition. I'll be the judge of that. Show me. I thought you wanted a trip caster. I'm ready to trade when you are. Now that you've got yourself a trip caster, practice how to use it someplace else, all right? My life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over. Really? Could have fooled me. <laughs> Will you be around later, in case I want to make another trade? I'll be here. 
Same as usual, bring me the parts you harvest from any machines you hunt. The better the parts, the more shards I'll pay. Be sure to take a close look at my inventory, though. Who knows? Maybe I've got something that could give you an edge in the proving. I guess that concludes our business. All right. See you around. Mother be praised. Aloy's back with the spear. First you send Arana back to me, and now you've got the spear. When I first called out to you for help, I didn't even know if you'd speak to me. I'm glad you did. <laughs> me too. I can't believe you got the spear back. Your mother knew how to craft them. It's of exceptional make. I'll never be the crafter she was, but she did pass along a few tricks. I'd be happy to take a look at your spear. Thank you. It sounds like she was special. I'm sorry for your loss. Well, because of you, I still have the spear to remember her by. You didn't have to help us, but you did. She would have admired that. Thank you, Aloy, for everything. I've got what I need. Time to meet Rost at the North Gate.
There's Grata, all alone with Allmother, the only way she knows. Here are your prayer beads, Grata. Now you have what you need. All mother. Each morning I find your tears of joy speckling the leaves. Joy at the beauty of all you have made. See how I cry now with you in gratitude. So you'll cry for her, but she won't speak to me. Fine. Guess that makes you the better outcast. Grata. I may not be around much for a while. I'm gonna run in the proving, and I'm not sure what's gonna happen after that. Oh, Mother, I thank you for the kindnesses you share. When the proving comes, in your great wisdom, may you give favor to a brave of generous heart. I think I get what you're saying. Goodbye, Grata, for now. Hear me as I count off my years of devotion. Ouch. Explosions and shouts from outside the embrace. I wonder what's going on. There he is. Right where he's. Aloy. You're here. You have the firearms? I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Until then, we wait. I got Odd Grata her rabbits, for which she thanked All Mother, of course. It was All Mother working through you to bring her the rabbits. You always say that, but I was there and I hunted alone. And you always say that, and so make yourself alone. I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlaw trader charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. Look, Rost. I've thought it through, and I'm not going to shun you after the proving, okay? I'm just... I won't do it. I'm not about to pretend that you never raised me. Aloy, the law forbids all contact. It does, and I don't care. I know what duty means for you, Rost, but all tribal law has ever done for me is take things away. It's not gonna happen again. Aloy, I must obey the law. And so you will. I knew you'd say that, so this is what we'll do. I'll come to you in secret. No one will see me, so I won't get in trouble. A and I know you won't talk to me because it's against the law, but I'll talk to you. It'll be my crime, not yours. You'll just listen. And that's how we'll handle this. <sighs> You've... Put a lot of thought into this. 
I know. So you can stop worrying. It's handled. Yes. So it is. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy, with threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine, that's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh, I see. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. farther now why are we the only ones out here tonight why can't the tribe's braves hunt this machine they did the kills we passed are theirs and tomorrow they will hunt again they want me to this machine will be my kill or your death if you're not careful How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions, Aloy. I brought you here to deal with that. is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow.
These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll see you at Mother's Heart, then. You will. <laughs> 